This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3 Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Looping and Random Numbers, Part 10. Add fish. The next high level function you will write is draw all fish. A version of draw fish with parameters has been provided for you to use. Great. Do this. Read the draw fish function to know how it works and what parameters it accepts. Add a loop to draw all fish. Place the command already inside the commands already inside the function in your loop. This way your code will move the turtle randomly around the top 360 pixels of the image, so somewhere up here, and draw 15 fish of random size between 5 and 20 using draw fish. Okay, once your loop is working, try calling draw fish with random values for its red, green, blue parameters to get differently colored fish. All right, so let's check out our code here. Draw all fish is here. And so similar to the last one, hopefully you were just doing nine. If you were stuck or confused on it, you should go check out my video for that part um, because it's very similar to this. So here's draw all fish. And what it does is it's gonna move the turtle, right? Our pointer thing to a random position on the screen between zero and 320 for X and zero and 300 for Y. So somewhere up here, I believe. Yep, because zero Y starts at the top. All right, and then it calls the function draw fish. And so remember, functions don't run unless we ask them to. So we originally asked the computer to run draw all fish somewhere up here. Okay, and so once it runs all these functions, our, the computer hits draw all fish and looks for that code. Oh, uh, 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 and once it sees it, boom, it drops in and runs the code inside. Moves the turtle, draw all fish, random number between 5 and 20, random number between between 200 and 255, random number between 100 and 150, and then 120. And so now it's going to look, these are what's the numbers it will use for whatever we called the parameters uh, for draw fish. So blah, 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 searches, 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 up, oh, here's draw fish. Oh, so that first random number between 5 and 20 is the size. Red, green, blue are the other numbers. And that makes sense because remember that last number we set to a certain level of blue. Um, and then because we don't want it to be too blue, it would be hard to see the fish. And then these other numbers are going to be red, green, and then the size. So when the computer runs this function, it says size and then goes, oh, whatever the random number that was inputted that was created when we call draw a fish. So maybe it's seven. Red will be the random number that was assigned when we called all fish. Maybe that is 47, right? And then it drops down and it sets the pen color using what these parameters, using the arguments that we inputted for our parameters. There's random numbers for red, green, and then 100 for blue. Size is set using whatever we use for the parameter for size. Runs through this code. Once we get to move forward, each time it moves forward, it uses that number that we have in the place of the size parameter, the number that we use as an argument for that. Argument just means that, yeah, for the parameter. All right, so we need to add a loop, okay? And this is, again, similar to the bubbles because we want to draw more than one fish. So let's see where we were at. Draw all fish. You're, we're going to need to go to control. We're going to drag our loop here. And we need both of these commands, chunks of code within our loop. Right now, the loop's going to run four times, right? It's And we want to iterate it at least, uh, draw 15. So to draw 15 fish, we just need to set this number to 15. And that is because i starts at zero. And so we loop through once with i being zero, hit the bottom, go back to the top, I plus plus means add one. So now I is one and we loop through again, which would draw our second fish. Go back to the top. I plus plus. So one plus one is two. Loop through again, which draws our third, third fish. And that is because we drew our first fish at zero. Once I gets to 15, it stops and drops below the loop and runs any other code. So right now this should run this code 15 times. Let's see. And there are our fish. 
Now, it had random size between 5 and 20 using, yep. Well, they already had random. We could change up green sum. I think they are limited in it. I don't know. Let's try. Oh, I see. Oh, minor versions. <laughs> I like my fish like that. I'm going to leave this without a random if it lets me. Awesome. Let's uh keep going. But uh